So as you can see, we did find a few things here at this thrift store. Something I wouldn't expect to find. Now, I paid five bucks for this fab vintage bookend set from the 30s or 40s. This is an excellent maker. We'll show you them in a few minutes here, but these were awesome. I also got a very nice Nippon here, handmade vase. I took the label off. I wanted to make sure what it was, but this was a fabulous piece for the price as well. You can't go wrong for these kind of prices. Hey, it's done. We went out to a few thrift stores. We're not looking to actually score anything. We were just actually looking for a table and a dog kennel. We went to one of the Humane Society ones because usually we can turn one up there. But you know, end of the day is we found some phenomenal items for a place like we went to. It's something that just doesn't show up even at better thrift stores as well. Even this hat is something that you don't run into much anymore. Now, my mom used to make Pepsi Cola versions of these when I was uh, a child in the 70s. So this is an easy, quick buck, no matter what, without a doubt. Let's take a look at some of the items out in the thrift store as well as what we purchased. So surprisingly enough, there was a few things of interest at the thrift store this time. Lately, I haven't been able to find pretty much anything at the thrift store. Now this looks like a local, just a handmade one. If it was signed, I may have purchased it, but as it is, I have no maker's mark. Here's a jug too. Now, I believe this was Hot Springs Pottery Company here, and it is signed. It's from Arkansas. It says that on the front. Now, there's just not enough bread in there for me. 15, 20 buck profit. 15, 20 buck profit on that piece if I'm lucky. I don't like keeping big, huge pieces like that. Now, here's another interesting one too. I was surprised to see this at a thrift store. It's a 1930s picture and then this Dresden silver plated dish was on the borderline here on whether I should get it or not very interesting this should sell by the shape alone on this one here now I always run into these and I have people ask me on these old coke ones I don't mess with them because I don't want to ship them you might make a couple bucks but it's not worth the hassle to ship them now this was a last minute grab too we were just about ready to leave though I found some clothing and I found this 1970s handmade beer can hat. I'll talk about that in a few minutes here. But, And then this is uh, the best pieces I got here. These are some Roseville bookends. $5 for the set. 1930s, 40s original. It's the magnolia pattern with the most popular color. The bluish green color is usually the one that sells the most. Now, these are some really good items. I had people following me around hoping I'd put them back. Here, now, here's another interesting piece here. This is an upon hand-painted, handmade vase. Very nice one, in all honesty. For three bucks, I cannot go wrong. Had some really good stuff. I was really surprised. So here are those exact same Roseville bookends. Now, I really couldn't believe these were actually in that store. Um, somebody actually saw me carrying these and kept following me around and wanted to see if I was going to put them down. He finally came up and said something to me, and I told him I know exactly what they are and what they're worth. And then he kind of pretty much disappeared after that. But they are original. They are nicely marked. Um, it has crazing, and I don't know how well you're going to see that on here. But without a doubt, these are the original ones, 30s, 40s. Now, this pattern are magnolias. I instantly recognize them. My wife's a big magnolia fan. The most expensive version of these type, there's probably dozens of different versions of these Roseville bookends. Uh, the most expensive one, the one I see going the best, is the pine cone version. It has like a, a hollowed out uh, filigreed version almost where there's like a, a hollow area through the back and it pine cones sticking down those can go as high as 400 in this color you want the blue green greenish bluish color like this this is the color that sells the highest it's kind of like an arts and crafts style now you saw what I paid for these I should easily get 75 to 125 out of these if we end up 
uh, selling them. The wife may keep them. She loves magnolias. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do with them as of yet. It's on the wife's uh, mind what she's going to do. She'll decide, and we'll go from there. But if I want to sell them, I could easily get 75. If I wait a little while, I should be able to get 125 out of them. A really good investment for these. I couldn't honestly believe that these were at the thrift store. It's just not something that I would run into uh, any typical day. The thrift store that I got them at, too, they almost never have anything good. Now this I thought was awesome to me. It has a little bit of damage in a few spots. Well, in the 70s, when I was a small child, my mom used to make hats like this, but she would make them Pepsi hats, and she did them with blue, uh, sometimes red. Um, so I wore a similar kind of hat back in the time when I was a small child. My mom made them for the whole family, big Pepsi drinker, so she always saved the cans for these. These are always a quick 15 to say 50 bucks at best. That's about the max any of these go for. Budweiser isn't as popular. If it's a better name brand, uh, it can go up in the $50 range. If it's one of the soda brands, they can usually get you the 25 to say 50 range as well. Just depends on the condition. You can see some of it's not in mint condition. It's probably smashed down in a box. I think I paid a dollar for it. Now, these are literally just cans that someone has cut out, punched some holes in with a hole punch, literally a hole punch, and that's exactly what, what this is done with. Then they stitch it with crochet or knitting, whichever the case may be. Now, this one here is Nippon, and it's a very nice one. It, I think the mark is um, Marimura, is I think the name of the mark on here. Um, it's an earlier one, not super, super rare, but for the price, again, I paid for this vase here. It should do extremely well. Look at the quality on there. It's gilt, obviously hand-painted all the way around. It's like a urn style with two handles. Um, now, that's a white flower. We looked at that very closely. Nothing's worn. That's literally the way it was painted. This is the less attractive side. This is the side that you would have displayed, so the other side isn't quite as good. So this is more a decorator piece, without a doubt. Again, you saw what I paid for this. Uh, for the price, value-wise, I should get at least, say, 40 bucks back on my return, and it shouldn't be a super long tail item, I wouldn't think, just because of the two-handle, the vase, the style, and the construction. Now, a couple more items are these Brin's salt pepper shakers. They were a dollar for each piece, so four bucks I have into these. These are from a company called Brin's, B-R-I-N-N apostrophe S, and that's from Pittsburgh. It's a Pittsburgh company. Uh, I think these were imported, though, but these are early. Uh, probably dates to the 40s, maybe 50s. These I usually get 30 bucks a piece for just because they're so nicely detailed. These look like the quality you'd find in a very nice manger set, a Christmas manger set with the sheep and, and stuff like that, the manger animals. These are ex excellent, excellent, excellent. Now you can look these up. You're going to see others. It's early. You can see it's got a cork in there. It's got an early number uh, on it too. These look like they were replaced with a rubber one. Maybe not, but I really think these probably had a cork in them at one time. Um... Again, they would have dated from the cork era. They're very nicely detailed. No issues with them whatsoever. You can see where the salt and pepper would come out on the tops. These sets like this, again, 30 bucks a set because they're so realistic. You've got both the salt and pepper. Now, they had a single one, too, of a swine, a pig, which would have done very well if I had the other one. Every pig salt and pepper shaker I've ever gotten, I've gotten some good money out of them. So Now, the last item that I picked up, everything else I ended up putting back, I just wasn't worth a shot at it. This was 10 bucks. I'd have loved to have gotten this for a little cheaper. Now, part of the reason I got it, it's the Kiwanis Club. It's 1939. It's from Cleveland. It's from the local area. It's a, a, a annual convention. My grandfather was in Kiwanis, so I've sold some things from there before. For. It's a nice image. The flags are there. There might be someone famous or well-known in Ohio politics in this group. It's possible that my grandfather is even in this photo here because he did go to the conventions and he was a member at in 1939. So it's an interesting photo. It does appear to be the original frame. I have not taken it out, but without a doubt, I am positive that it's a real photo. Uh, no question about it because you can see the wrinkles and you can see the gloss. You can see enough in this one here especially with my loop to know that it's the real deal 
Price wise, again, 35 to say 5750 or higher, maybe. Again, if someone famous is in here, I'll look up some information on this and we'll go from there. Not the type of thing I'm used to finding at a thrift store, but I'll take it. I usually do extremely well with these sorts. A Qantas Club member right now, one of the Qantas historians, which there are some. These are the types of things, again, you can track down by the, the Superior Studios, which is the company that took the photo. It has Hotel Cleveland, it's in Cleveland, Ohio. It has everything you would want to, to find in a photo there. Again, very nice image here. Very clear. It's a studio uh, produced one by someone who they had to pay extra money to get this shot. So it's a very nice one here. All told, it was a nice trip. Even though we weren't planning on sourcing, we did find some items to sell that will make us some pretty decent money. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. your right hand. I'll place your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Now put your left hand here. Please take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Hmm. Now put your left hand here. Will you please take off your hat? Raise your right hand. Hmm. Now put your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Will you get rid of that hat? Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Huh? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Are you trying to give me the double talk? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Why don't you answer him? He's talking pig Latin. I don't know what he's saying. He's asking you if you swear... No, but I know all the words.